Using Super Modules in SimNet Composer Software. A Super Module is a collection of DSP modules wired together for a specific function and grouped within a single virtual module that has input and output terminals, a DSP path between them, and can include a custom control screen. Super Modules can be created from scratch, or pre made Super Modules can be imported into an existing site file design from within the Super Module library in SimNet Composer Open Architecture software. The following example shows how rooms in a room combine application can be programmed quickly using pre made Super Modules. First, open any SimNet Composer software site file design. Double click on the preferred DSP to open its design view. To import a super module from the super module library into a site file, simply locate and expand super module library in the toolkit and drag Import Super Module into your design. A browser will open with an Examples folder. Inside the Examples folder are subfolders containing pre designed super modules. Inside of the Room Combine folder are Room Configuration super modules with combinations of mic and line level inputs. This example imports the Room Setup 4 Mic One Line SMFX Super Module. Once in the site file design, double clicking a super module reveals its signal flow and allows for the setting up of individual parameters. Other Room Setup Super Modules for different mic line configurations can quickly be imported into the site file to complete the individual room programming. These super modules include the chain and mix outputs for wiring into the BGM AutoMix Combine Modules room inputs. It should be noted that the super module library includes super modules organized into the following subfolders chimes, full processing, input processing, output processing, paging, room combine, tools, and toys. Looking at a super module from the tool subfolder, for example, the Stereo Imaging and Enhancer module, the Super Module's customized control screen can be accessed by double-clicking the Super Module once it is imported into the design. The control screen contains the controls for the various parameters which provide the Super Module end-user functionality, such as faders, buttons, labels, meters, and LEDs. By right-clicking the Super Module in the design and choosing Open Design, the DSP signal path can be viewed and edited. Additional inputs and outputs can be added to the super module by dragging them from the toolkit into the super module signal path. When completed, new input and output wiring nodes will be present on the super module in the DSP signal path. The super module library is used in conjunction with the super module library manager. Use super modules to make large designs more streamlined by placing processing sections or common functions of the site file into one or more super modules. Super modules can be saved and exported for use in future site files. Once a super module has been created or edited, the super module can be saved to the super module library where it can be renamed, password protected, or exported for later use in other designs. Simply right click on the super module and choose Save in Site Super Module Library. Then open the Super Module Library under the Tools drop down menu. To export the saved super module, highlight it by clicking on it, then hit the Export button and choose the directory in which you would like to save the super module. Once exported, the super module can be imported into any other SimNet site file. Simply drag out the Import Super Module from the toolkit into a DSP design. Navigate to the location of the exported super module and double click on the .smfx file. Have questions? Email our technical sales and support staff for assistance with troubleshooting, design reviews, commissioning, and warranty support directly at support at symmetrics.co. More information on Symmetrics' complete line of DSP solutions can be found at symmetrics.co.